bigger, stronger, more adjustable remote reservoir. Yep, that's right. The Formula F4R range that we've just released is epic. And in this video, we're gonna be going into a little bit more details with the lead engineer, Richard, and talking to you guys about exactly what sets them apart. The adjustability, the rebuildability, and our warranty. Now, Richard, mate, what we're looking at here is the front coilover out of a PX3 Ford Ranger, and they are three-way adjustable. Yep. What can the people at home expect to be able to adjust when they get their F4Rs? Yeah. So first thing you'll probably be looking at is your front ride height, which we can do with these spanners that come in the kit. Uh, you can, unlike a lot of other shocks, do this on the car. So get it up on your stands, on your hoist, whatever you got. Um, and yeah, just wind that up or down, get your right height. You Perfect. can also, if it's too hard or too soft on compression, you can adjust that with the clicker on the reservoir. Yep. And on the bottom of the shock, on the Ranger, this is on the back of the shock, you can just adjust your rebound to suit whatever load you're carrying. Awesome. Now for the, those people playing at home, and I, this, was, this was realistically me just a couple of weeks ago, compression, what exactly is that? What are the people adjusting? Uh, what, what should they sort of look out for when they're feeling? So yeah, compression adjustment, primarily if you're off-road, if the car's hitting the bump stops too readily, you want to add a little bit of compression damping, slow that movement down and keep okay. the car off the bump stops, preserve some of your travel. Yep. Um, if you've got too much compression damping, it'll feel too stiff, jiggly on the street, what have you, you can wind a little bit out and let the spring move around a little bit more. Okay, awesome. And then rebound, what are we looking at there? Rebound is letting the wheel fall down into bumps or preventing the car from kicking off the top of a bump. So if you've got okay. the front of the cars bouncing too much or kicking off of stuff, you want to add a little bit of rebound. If the car is falling into potholes on the road, you want to let the, relax the rebound off a little bit yep. to let the wheel fall down and absorb the bump. Awesome, that's perfect. So it really does mean that basically any setup you have and no matter what sort of tarmac or, or surface you guys are driving on, whether it's sort of corrugated PDR stuff up in Cape York, daily driving Sydney or Brisbane pothole ridden yeah. roads or anything in between, you're gonna be able to sort of set it up and, uh, and really dial it in. And I guess the beautiful thing about these, cause the way they're sort of designed is you can get easy access to the adjusters yeah. is that if you do want to play around with it on, on the tracks, on track side, road side, you can, it's just a matter of reaching yeah, in and having a play. Get out of the car, get down there play around with it. How good's that? And I also thought it, uh, it's probably worth mentioning the coarse thread on the body of it as well. Mm. And this locking nut, it's got some good weight to it. Yeah. I guess yeah, that means so. it's gonna be easier to adjust and nice positive sort of feel when you do lock it right up. Yeah, it's not gonna slip. You're not gonna risk damaging it when you adjust it. Like if there's a little bit of dirt in it, it's not gonna destroy it immediately. And yeah. it is steel, so it's not gonna bind up and strip itself. Yeah, awesome. Super tough, super strong. And guys, I think you know what I'm gonna say. You definitely need these in your vehicle. If you wanna find out any more or get a set for your dual cab, head over to fulcrumsuspensions.com.au or give us a buzz on 1-800-FULCRUM.